All right, welcome back to LearnWire. This is really funny, but I just got done recording a about a 30 minute long video. I was using a different recording software. And unfortunately, it's one of those ones where you have to select, you know, what screen or window that you are using. And I selected all the window. And for whatever reason, it decided that it just wanted to stick on one of the softwares that I had open and record that entire thing. And so long story short, it, I, it didn't capture the screen while I was recording, so it kind of really sucks. But at the same time, here I am. I'm going to re-record the video. A couple different things. The advantage is, is that I fully understand Voila now that I just did a 30-minute review on it. And then I think it's my loss is your gain. In this case, I'm going to try to really stick to about a 10- to 12-minute video on this because I don't feel like recording a 30 minute deep dive into Voila again. So we're gonna get started right now. So Voila is a software that basically you're able to use in Chrome. It's going to be a Chrome extension. I have it installed right up here already. So there's some little things that I usually do in reviews where I take you by the hand to show you how to install everything. I'm not gonna do that in this one. We're really gonna just try to get to the point as best I can to show you what if voila is right for you and why you should pick it up and maybe why you shouldn't. Okay. So a really cool idea here because it kind of reminds me a little bit like right now I can push control M and it's going to pop up on our screen right now. So that's super cool. Reminds me a little bit of Zim writer where you can use it on your computer anywhere and use the magic commands and so forth. So it's a little bit like Zim writer in that respect. I personally don't use Zim writer and the magic commands, but certainly you, it is very similar. So there's going to be all kinds of different things that you can do inside of Voila. But before we go and do that, I'm just going to click right back off and we're going to go down here and we're going to just check out everything, right? So you can see over here, it does say it's an alternative to Grammarly and Jasper. I would say that it is definitely going to be an alternative to Jasper and any other AI writer, but it's certainly not that great at grammar, at least in the tests that I did. I'm not going to really show you that, but just trust me. I basically use the grammar checker inside of here. So you do control M and then you go over to the grammar fix and I pasted in a content here and pushed enter and I compared the, fir the first draft and I went and plugged it into Grammarly Pro and then I compared the one that it's supposed to improve and it actually took the writing down, like it destroyed the writing by like 30 points in Grammarly. So I can't really say that the fixed grammar and spelling is gonna be that great of an option, but certainly don't let that hold you back from still considering picking this up because this is a really insane software and there's a really huge use case that I'm gonna be picking up at least the $29 plan for this. So we're gonna keep scrolling down. Um, of course, there's all kinds of different cool stuff you can do inside of here, but really just want to get to the pricing. So at $29, that's a really low entry pri price in comparison to most tools on AppSumo. You're going to get 2000 requests. So it's not measured by the amount of words that you're creating. It's literally just the amount of times you can use the software. 2000 is a lot. And you'll see why I'm probably going to pick it up specifically for email use case use case. And I'll show you what I, what I mean by that. But if you want just unlimited and just have an AI content writer at your fingertips at your disposal for $119 all in unlimited requests, really, really cool stuff. Oh, okay. So on the end on this one, you get to select the AI model. So they have something built in here where they're able to use chat GPT four and they're going to be able to launch this out to the masses and you're not going to have to pay $20 a month for this. In some respects, this act that actually entices me to go ahead and just pick up license tier two, because then you could technically cancel your chat GPT license, chat GPT plus license for $20 a month, right? That you're paying because you could come in here and use voila and you'd get unlimited content per month. And you'd be able to select that you want to use GPT-4 every time. So a lot of good options here. I like the pricing. I, I really think that this is creative and innovative in a world where there are AI writers coming out daily. Okay, so we can come over here. They do have a roadmap right over here. You can look at the road, uh, you can pause the screen and check those out. I'm not going to go over them, but that's the roadmap. Here's what they've completed already and the feature requests as well. You can come in here and easily write a featured request right here. So definitely the, the things that I look for, they're checking, they're check marking the boxes. You know, they've got a roadmap, they've got a help page. We can come over here and look at the, the founder and owner wrote a nice, um, you know, introduction to the software and so far. It seems very professional. I mean, come over here and look at reviews. You know, it's just getting five tacos left and right all over the place. They've got over 50 reviews already and it's only been on the platform for a couple of weeks now. 
So those are all really good signs that just right off the bat tell you that, yeah, this is high quality. This is probably worth something, worth picking up. And now what I want to do is really show you why that this is different than most other AI writers that you have in your toolkit and why you might want to pick this up. So what you can do is let me go over to one of my email accounts and check this out. So I get offers all the time. This is my LearnWire email account. I get offers to collaborate with softwares and companies all the time. And I usually do not do anything with them. I like to be in control and choose the videos that I bring to you guys. And I really just like to stay away from just like creating content and, and putting it out there just because someone paid me to do it, right? And I think you guys probably appreciate that. And so I really don't do this. Out of three over 300 videos, I may have been paid once or twice for a video. So that, that I think that tells you that the content I create is is, is not, you know, it's not endorsed content, right? But I do get emails like this on a daily basis usually. And so this one is from a company called Document 360. And this might be kind of cool for SaaS companies that need like their help all articles and so forth. Like when we come back over here, literally, I think that this is probably along the lines of what the software is. If we go to help page um, and you get all the different help pages over here and so forth. So it's going to be something that's a software that can create these health pages for you or something documentation on your software, right? But look at what I did right here. I literally created this whole response in voila. Super cool stuff. Look at it. It says, let me zoom in real quick so you guys can see it. So they reached out and, you know, wanted to do a collaboration of two to three videos, even offering to pay for the videos and so forth, right? So then I reached back out and used voila to write this. And it says dear, and it actually put their whole first and last name. That's how they signed off. So that's fine. You can specify just use first names if you want as well. But it says, thank you so much for your email. We're thrilled to hear that you are interested in collaborating with us. Yes, I am interested in the collaboration package you mentioned and my rate for a three video package is $600. And I actually was trying to be a little bit humorous in the video I was doing before this that I lost, unfortunately. But I was actually having some fun with it and laughing because I was like, oh, let's just do this for fun. Let's push the return send button and let's just see if they get back to me and say, okay, cool. Yeah, we will pay you. And, you know, maybe I'll bring these videos to you. It's kind of funny, right? I'm doing it even almost in spite of, of just showing, showing you guys this on screen. This is actually my email account and using voila in a real use case study. And that's really the, the reason why I'm showing this today. Uh, but at the same time, I went ahead and actually did push the return button. Who knows? They'll get back to me. Maybe I'll make the video get paid. Maybe I'll just say, or pull out of the deal at the end of the day. Right. But it just tells them what my package, you know, my rate is for the three videos. I'm excited to explore the potential of our partnership and can't wait to get started. Please wait. So Voila, Voila wrote that. Looking forward to working together. Best regards, Learn Wire team. Super cool. And then we had one more. I'm going to go over to Scent real quick. We had one more right here. So we have my name is blah, blah, blah I'm from Template Monster. I don't know what Template Monster is, if that is like WordPress themes or what, but they reached out to me as well, offering to pay money to for me to create some content, you know, showcasing their product. Okay. So then I used Voila as well. You can see this was 51 minutes ago. I'm really, really bummed out that my giant 30 minute video is now no good, but here we go. Thank you for reaching out and I'm excited to blah, blah, blah and my rate for the video collaboration. So Voila did this whole thing as well, right? So if I came back over here, I'm just going to show you the use case from an email standpoint. So here is the actual email. If I go over here and push reply, and let's say I wanted to respond back, you're going to see this little icon down here, which is voila. We're going to click on voila, and then it's going to open up, right? And so we can actually say we can go default, casual, formal, creative, and urgent. I'm going to just stick it on default, but I really liked the creative one as well. Default, casual, creative. I really liked them. Didn't get a whole lot of change with all of them. The one that had the biggest change uh, when you select creative, we're going to leave it on default. I'm just going to say, yes, I am interested. My rate is 300 per video. I can get started next week. I will need access to the product. Let me know if this this works, right? So you just really, really just tell it what you want it to say and then push enter and then check it out. The law is going to go out there and write for us. Sometimes there's an enter issue. I don't know if they're bogged down right now or if there's a bug, but sometimes I have to push enter a couple times. See, like right here, you can tell it. Now it finally, I had to push return like five times. So something buggy's going on right there, but here's what it does. 
hello and it gives the first name thank you for your interest in collaborating with template monster your rate of 300 per video works for us and we are ready to provide you with access to the product let's get started next week best regards boom so it's going to answer the it's going to answer for you right here's another one right here so here's somebody else that reached out to me LearnWire. they saw a video they want to do a collab right here we're launching and so let's just say i come down here and i say reply and then i click on the voila button right here and then voila comes up right here right and then i just say Yes, I am interested. I am available next week, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mountain Time, USA. Let me know what time works for you. Something like that. And then I'm gonna push enter. And there we go. So we have, it says our name. Thank you for reaching out, and I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed my video. I am definitely interested in collaborating with Gumlet for AppSumo Lifetime Deal regarding your call. I am available next week from 8 to 1 p.m. Mountain Time, USA. Let me know what time works for you. I should have said what time and day. Looking forward to discuss more about this exciting collaboration project. So it just writes our email for us, right? So I really, really like that. That saves a ton of time. We've got this nice professional email that would have taken me four times longer to write. And it just went out and did it for me. So this is the most exciting feature, real world business use case that I can see picking up, voila. Like I said, I will be picking up Voila just because of this feature alone. This is the best email function with AI and Gmail that I have seen, period. I love that I can click off here and can do a control M right here. I know that I can go into any screen and could push control M anywhere I want. And that's super cool, right? So I've already came in here and you have just all these different use cases right over here. We can go into writing, we can do a blog post outline, and I've done these already blog post about how to lose weight in the summer time and then just push enter, right? And right now there's something weird with the re the return button. Again, super weird, but it's gonna go out there and it actually is doing a nice like markdown or HTML formatting. So you do have the nice header and then right now there's the intro and then section one, get active outdoors. So it's gonna go and write an article for us. Super cool. In my testing, it writes about a seven to 800 word article right here, okay? You can also, something that I've learned as well is you can come back anytime you want if I click off here, I think it will stop writing. So you don't want to click off, but if you go and you go to like another, you know, I had this one open earlier in my review. I had it write this one over here, right? And I went and tested all the content and so forth. And you're going to get about an 800 word article, no matter which way you slice and dice it. Even if you create the outline first and then go paste it in and say, write an article on this, it's it's not going to really hit that thousand word article mark. So there is a lot of things that you can do. And then if you want to come back, and let's just say you pull up another menu and then you want to go and look at the history. You can go over to the history and you can see all these different things that I did over here. We can go and look at them. I said, give me 10 video topic ideas based on the videos on this page that it didn't work. I did put the YouTube videos in there. It didn't really also live look at the, the YouTube videos on my YouTube LearnWire channel and give me relevant video ideas. So that didn't really work. But like right over here, write me a list of gifts for a mother-in-law. It did a really good job at doing that. It did a good job at the article writing and the quality of content was really, really good when I when I measured it in a Grammarly over 90 score. But again, the length is not there. So I don't think that that for a blog, this won't be a blog post replacement tool if you're already using Zimwriter, Agility, Koala, you know, any of those tools, ScaleNet and et cetera, et cetera. They're gonna just powerhouse be able to write way better articles. So this is gonna be for that fast AI type stuff, real business use cases that you need. This is gonna be the way to use it, okay? So you can see the blog posts that it created right over here. Here's an outline that it created. This is a, an insane outline. And then here is the article that it wrote for us. And you can see it's in markdown formatting right there, but it wrote the article as well. So we can go back over here and look at the article that it just wrote for us. The ultimate guide to losing weight in the summer. It looks like it's pretty nice. It does bullet points and headers and everything. A control A, control copy. I don't know what it's using. Uh, obviously in the free version, it's probably using 3.5. 
but we can go over here and test this out in Grammarly real quick. I'm going to go with control A, delete, control V. That did not work. So let's come back over here and I don't see the copy. There should be a copy. Okay, there's the copy. And let's try that again. And so we paste the article in here. It keeps all the markdown and so forth, the formatting, only 18 AI suggestions, almost 900 words, and we got a 97 score. So, I mean, if you need smaller articles, you could definitely use this and pump out a ton of content. Um, what I think you can do is actually come over here and just can do control M. You could go into writing a blog post and then say top 10 beaches in USA. You could push enter right there. And then you could open up another tab right over here and then do control M and then you could go writing blog post and then you could have another one writing top 10 dogs for, for children. And it's going to go out there and start writing our article right here. We can go back over here and look, it's all, it's still writing our 10 beaches as well. Clearwater Beach, Florida, all kinds of stuff, Hawaii, North Carolina. And then we can come over here and it's writing both articles at the same time. So super cool. You could be writing 20 articles at a time. You could really build out a process if you really wanted to. Again, this wouldn't be an article re replacement for this, the way that I am building out my niche blogs. There's just far better superior tools. But like I said, the most exciting way to use this for me is going in and being able to respond back to pe people that are actually emailing me in my business on a daily basis, even your teams and et cetera, et cetera, and be able to come in here and just say, yes, does next Tuesday, 9 a.m. Mountain Time work for you to, for a call, right? And then we're just going to push enter. And then it's going to say, thanks for reaching out, expressing your interest in collaborating. I'm glad you enjoyed the video regarding the call. Next Tuesday at nine mountain time works for me. I appreciate the lifetime deals offer, blah, blah, blah. And looking forward. So it just saved a bunch of time. And imagine if you're doing this, you know, a hundred times a month, it's going to save you a lot of time. So that is my biggest win-win feature right there. I love the email function. I love that you can open this up anytime you want just by pushing control M. It is an extension and it only works in Chrome right now. This has been my review on Voila. I think the pricing is good. I think this is a great product. I'm not surprised that it's getting really, really good reviews as over 50 reviews and so forth. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to go pick it up, there'll be a link below. This is Voila on AppSumo. Go pick this one up. I'll see you in the next video.